We're moving on up to the east side, to a dystopian zoo in the sky. <laughs> Hey, I'm Brian. Welcome to Built From Bricks. I am talking more zoo, and this is really cool. This is the mechanisms I've been building for the zoo to get up into this monstrosity tower zoo that I've built. First part I want to show you is this crazy spiral staircase. And I had a bunch of these 45 degree hinge plates that I was going to be using for the zoo for a different purpose, and I'm repurposing them into this really scary, shaky, shady, spiral staircase. This lets the people get to the top of the zoo by stairs or down the zoo because the real cool feature of the zoo is the elevator. So I just got a haul in the mail today and I wanted to show you what I got and can't show you too much more because I don't have it built yet. But these are the pieces I'm using and Drew knows how much I love Technic. You've been on the show a lot and I love Technic, right? I actually am enjoying this Technic because I'm creating it. It's not following the instructions, it's our destructions. I have destructed this thing several times. But I'm using lots of Technic, and I always thought these were called Technic beams, but apparently they're called Technic lift arms. Who, I don't know why. I guess they're used a lot in lifting things. I don't know. So I spent a while trying to find them in BrickLink to order these things at first. I found some Duplo ones, those were called beams, but the Technic ones for Lego were not called beams, they're called lift arms. So these are different lift arms, and another cool thing about lift arms is that typical Lego bricks are 1x2, 1x4, there's 1x3s and 1x6s. No 1x5s or 1x7s. This is a 1x7, I want to say beam, but it's a lift arm. So I have several different lift arms, and what I'm doing with this is creating the track for the elevator to ride up and down to the different levels of the dystopian zoo. And you're going to love this, I'm going to show you it in a little bit, and it's really fun. I had a little tough time getting this to stay on the track. I redesigned the elevator. This is my second revision of it. I did get, and I won't lie, I got some of the ideas from a different person that built an elevator. I may give him credits in the comments. And I will. And it's fun, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's take a look at this thing move. And we are here at the Dystopian Zoo elevator I wanted to show you. We mentioned it. And here it is in a working, hopefully it works this time. And you know, I, I get it most of the time. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna turn this on with a remote. And I am planning to add a Mindstorm robot instead. I was, And I am planning to add a Mindstorm that I'm borrowing to make this an automatic elevator. Right now I have the remote control, but the Mindstorm will let me have it go on its own. So here we go, we're gonna do this test and see if it works. We'll do a slow speed. And of course a little jam down there. It's because you're watching. And I'm filming it, so it's gonna mess up. So this brings the visitors to all the levels of the zoo. It gets up to here. And then I bring it back down, so I can stop it right there. The guests can get out and get across the little bridge that I added to let them get to the enclosure over there. Now the enclosures are in right now, they're all packed away. And we'll bring this back down. And here we go, and it seems to be riding really well on those rails. I got the idea from a few people online and had to play with this, but the only non-Lego part in this is this string. It's a piece of twine that I got. I don't have Lego string, and this works fine. It's nice and heavy duty. I think it came out pretty well. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is on the third Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? Things are moving up in the dystopian zoo, and I wanted to share with you some of the cool features that. I'm building in here and I don't know where I'm going with this. That was horrible.